welcome back to my channel. So today you can see I have some bling going on in the back and are you ready for this? We are going to reveal the Mac and Patrick Star Collection. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to open these and show you most of the collection. We're missing a few pieces, but I was too excited to wait any longer. So without further ado, take a seat, get ready. Okay, let me just take a deep breath. By the way, I got in a fight with Max this morning and I broke two nails, so please don't judge me. Please. All right, let's go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab what I see first. So this is one of his palettes and it's called Patrick Star Goal Getter. I love that because I feel like he's fully come like full circle from working at Mac before he even they even hired him at Mac and now he has a full blown worldwide collection. Like that's insane. Can't really get it out, Patrick. Hey, okay. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Ooh, uh, this is nice. It's on the warmer side, which I really like because I'm all about warm eyeshadows. And you can see that. You can see how glam the packaging is. You can see the colors see see through. You know, it's not like a block on the front of the palette, but then you still have like the silver writing, and it just looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these, but before I do, let me just tell you the names. Oh, yes, so we have Soft Brown, which if you're a MAC lover, you already are familiar with that color. Amber Light, Swiss Chocolate, and I'm Into It. So I'm gonna do Soft Brown first. Yeah, this is a great like universal color. If you don't have this eyeshadow, I highly suggest getting it. It's great like for all over the lid and your crease. Okay, this pigment. Oh my gosh. Like this is insane. And this is so pretty. It's perfect for the holidays. Like I want to do a holiday party. Like go, go to one right now. Right now. Wait until you see this. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. It's very like bronzy, mahogany gold like it like it should be called gold getter but we're gonna stick with the gold getter like this is amazing i'm gonna show you right now isn't this so pretty so starting from my wrist it's soft brown and then it's amber lights and i'm into it is last and i think i forgot the third one oops it's okay i'll tell you in a second but isn't that gorgeous love it I'm super excited to do a look on this palette. So let me know in the comments down below if you want me to like create a few holiday like party, Christmas theme, like New Year's Eve with this palette and I will do that for you. So let's see what else we have in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these lipsticks and I think I wanna try one of them on. So let's see what we have. So I have three. The first one is, you can barely see it on here, Patrick Wu. This packaging is just all so cute. Oh my goodness, it just, oh my, it's just, this screams New Year's. Like, it's got like the bullet top, it's silver, has the silver glitter writing with the white contrast. I love it. Oh, look at this red. This is gorgeous. Should I try the red on? I think. I don't know. Let's, I'm gonna just like swatch some on the top of my hand. Ooh. Uh, this is really pretty. And reds are hard to find. And I feel like his goal for this collection was to make everything super universal. Cause you know, not every red goes with every skin tone. Not every nude goes with every skin tone and, skin tone and so forth. So I feel like his choice in colors and pigments is so everyone can try this on and it's gonna swatch on everyone beautifully and I love that. And I can see that with this red, it's gorgeous. I mean, isn't that swatch beautiful? Like, I promise, no matter what, whoever is watching, you can wear this red, like it's gorgeous. And it's perfect for Christmas, who doesn't want a red lip? Okay, so let's go ahead and open another lipstick. This one's Mama Star, I love this one. I already just love the name. His mom and his family are so supportive and that really just like hits home for me because I gotta say like filming tutorials, being active on Instagram, being great with his fan base, he's so interactive and it's not just 
you see him post pictures and you can't approach him if you saw him walking down the street. So to have such a supportive family and include your mom in this collection, I just think is beautiful. So I'm like really excited for this one. I want to buy it for my mom. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. It's like a rustic, almost like a brown nude, I would say. Like I would use this as like an everyday lip and it's got like a satin finish. I love it. Let me show you. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can see the difference like between the two colors, the contrast, but how great they're both swatching. So like I said, I feel like all of his colors are gonna be perfect on every skin tone. Okay, so this is the third one I have. Ooh, this name, She Better Work. That's like, yes, honey, you better work. Love it, okay. Don't mind me being extra, I'm real excited, okay? Been waiting for this collection. Let's see, oh, and it's a nude, yes. Oh yeah, this is pretty. It has like a mauve t like tint to it. So it's not like the typical nude I can seriously wear every single day. But even with the mauve tone, I would totally rock this every day. Cause it's still in that nude family, I'm, I, I really like it. And I just can imagine this on everyone, like, just these three colors. I, I see the method to his madness. Isn't that pretty? And you, it's still perfect for winter, cause it's not like too, too light or too, too bronze, like for a summery look. So gorgeous. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the lip liners. The first one I'm gonna do, and just this box, ah, so cute, is Brick which MAC has had, so I already know I'm gonna like this color, but I wanna swatch it next to the red lipstick so we can really see how these would pair. So I'm just gonna put it right above so you can see. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. These would be like the perfect duo. Perfect little lip kit. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, they just go hand in hand. You could overline with the liner and then fill in, make kind of like an ombre red lip or you could line your entire lip with the liner or vice versa with a lipstick. Like they're both so pretty. Okay, so this liner is called Mahogany. This is pretty. It's like a deep, like chocolatey purple. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it next to Mama Star. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. I love this. Max liners are just so good. Like, I swear, just it's hard to find comparisons. They're just so good. Okay, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, look at that. So pretty, like for a winter day lip. Yes, I think I'm gonna try that one on actually, just cause I, A, love the name and I really, really am loving the color. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our last liner that I have. It's called Edge to Edge. It's a cute name. This is like a, like a darker nude. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this above our last lipstick. Yeah, this is, oh my gosh. He really chose the like perfect pairs. I, I cannot get over it. This is gorgeous. Like how pretty is this? They're all so like perfectly paired together. It's hard to find a lip liner that goes perfect with a lipstick. Like it sometimes really is. And these are amazing, I love them. Great job, Patrick. Thank you so much for this collection on these lipsticks. I'm super, super excited. Okay, so I wanna try one on. I think I wanna do Mama's Star. I'm really liking that one. So I'm just gonna take this lip gloss that I'm wearing off and beauty blend my lips a little bit. But I'm sure you already know that's my go-to. My lips are dry. Who else is having dry lips right now? It's like, I will exfoliate them, I'll moisturize them, and then they're dry again. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna beauty blend so I have like a clean canvas again. Perfect, so I'm gonna take my mahogany lip liner first before I use Mama Star and just line my lips like I normally do. Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure I have the right one. Mama Star, yes. And I'm just gonna run that over my lips everywhere. Focusing it in the middle. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's satiny, 
So because I'm so used to wearing a glossy lip, I prefer to use satin lipsticks as opposed to really matte. And because my lips are so dry right now in the winter. I'm just gonna rub this. Oh, this is gorgeous. It looks good with the eyeshadow I already have on. Isn't that pretty? It feels so good. I love their satin lipsticks. I love this. So gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm gonna keep this one on. I'm filling this lip. We're keeping it on. So our last product is, I think what we've all been waiting for, Patrick is known to like, you know, when he sets his face, he's like, <sighs> like he goes in there with that brush and it's like a big, like he's baking, like a big powder just explosion. So for him to create like a setting powder that will work on every single person, I think is huge. It's like, like a game changer. So let's go ahead. I've already removed the sticker, but I have not tried it yet. So I'm just gonna tap some on the cap. Okay, so I'm just gonna swatch some on my hand. I have all these swatches. I probably should have taken them off, but oh well. Oh yeah, this is like, I wanna say it's like very velvety, but not too cakey or like a too much of like, so where it's gonna dry and get in all the, like the creases and crevices of like your under eye and your smile lines and all of that. I kind of feel like I need to try it on to really show you. So my makeup is clearly already done, but I can probably like touch up in here. So let's see. I cut the top of my beauty blender. I just felt like it was helping me like chisel my cheekbones more, you know? It's fine. No rules to makeup, right? So this, it, this is the powder. You can see it's like, it's pretty white. But it had when you see it in person, it has like a nude, like beige, peach undertone. So I know it'll like blend in perfectly. Okay, so I didn't bring a brush, of course. So I'm just gonna press this in. And I kind of dust it away. Oh yeah, this is like brightening up. Oh yeah, I'm, ooh, and this feels nice. I don't know if it's popping up on camera, but this is really, I'm gonna put it, you know what, I'm gonna put it where I get smile lines here. I'm not ashamed, everyone gets them. I guess that means I smile a lot, right? And I'm gonna blend this in there. God, I feel like it really just buffs it in and makes it super airbrushed. I feel like that's like the perfect Word. And the feel of it is just like porcelain. It's like an airbrush porcelain finish. I really like this powder. I was a little like apprehensive about trying it because setting powders are hard, but after feeling it and like blending it in and buffing it underneath like a set that I already had, I'm impressed very, very much so. So with that said, I hope you enjoy this collection as much as I did. I've been super, super excited to, like I literally have been waiting for it since they announced it a couple weeks ago. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please stay tuned for all of my videos. So hit that bell so you can be notified and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, bye.